Hi guys, this is Mike. Um, today I had to build a device to lower my 12 volt to 5 volts to run some uh, LED lighting I needed. So today I, I decided to go ahead and make a little video of it for you because I had a hard time finding it on the internet myself how to build it and you can convert 24 volt or 12 volt down to a 3 volts, 5 volts, 6 volts, 9 or even 12 volt. I'm not going to show you how I build it because of course I've already built it. It was too small um, to build and get it on camera at the same time. It was Actually the video was too confusing. So I made a diagram and I will show you where the wire, you know, what connects where. And I believe it makes it a little easier for you to understand it. I have tested this and it does work. So um, here's what you need. Okay. You will need a voltage regulator. To reduce it to a uh, 5 volts, you will need an L7805. Now, if you want to reduce it to a 6 volt, it will be the last two numbers will be changing. Well, not necessarily the last two, the last digit will. For a 6 volt, it will be 7806. A 9 volt will be 7809. A 12 volt would be 7812. Um, <clears throat> then you will need, and forgive me guys, I cannot pronounce what I'm about ready to say, but I'll get you close. You will need a 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, I believe how, how, how it said. And you will also need a 10 microfarad electrolytic, whatever, however you say it. Um... And then you would need a 0.1 or a 0.2, preferably the 0.1, a, a, a ceramic capacitor. And that's the four devices that you will need uh, to bring 24 or 12 volts down to 5 volt to run a 5 volt device. And like I said, if you wanted to run a 6 volt or a 9 volt device, you would get the 7806 for the 6 volt and 7809 for the 9 volt. Um, so, hopefully you understand. That's easy to understand. Now, real easy. It's real simple. You have a base. It's base collector and the emitter. And for this setup, your base is going to be positive, your emitter is going to be positive, your collector is going to be a negative. Okay? Now on your microfarad capacitors, you have a plus and you have a minus. The plus is always longer. The shorter one is negative. Same way it was over here on the 10. Negative is shorter, positive is longer. Now on the ceramic one, they're both the same size because it doesn't matter. Either one can be either one. Positive or negative, positive or negative. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, and I'm trying to draw this through the viewfinder so it's going to come out a little slow. But the negative from the 100 microfarad needs to come to the um, center one collector. Sorry, lost it for a minute. And so will the negative from here will come to the collector while we're right here. Um, the positive of your 10 microfarad. 
will go to your emitter and the positive of the 100 microfarad will come up to the base. Okay, kind of crude, I'm sorry, but that's what I got to work with. Now, like I said, neither one of these, doesn't matter which one of these go to. You can put positive or negative, positive or negative, but it does matter up here, of course. You will be putting this one of these. We we'll have to go over the top of the, um, that one. This one has to go to that one, okay? Which is the emitter. And then we'll go run this one right up to the collector. And you're actually pretty well done building this device. You just have to bring power supply into it and bring power out of it to your device. I uh, have them down low because I don't have so many wires, lines across them as wires. But just like I said earlier, you, your collector will be your negative, your base and your emitter will be your positive. And since I have these on both sides, opposite sides, you get a good idea where they go. They're going pretty quick. The negative has to come up to the collector. Positive. I'm hoping the color kind of shows up too. Positive has to go up to the base. And then the same thing over here. It'll come up. And like I said, I'm watching it through the viewfinder, so it's a little hard. That positive will come up to the emitter. And your negative here. Sorry about that. Your negative here will come up to the collector, which I go over that and then up to your collector. And there you have it. I mean, you got power. I mean, you will want to put maybe a on-off switch here or an on-off switch here for your device if it doesn't have one already. But other than that, that is how you build it. And you will come up with something similar to this. Um, and like I said, it, I did test it. It comes out um, supposed to be 5 volts pushing 12 volts into it, or actually 13.3 is what I was pushing into it, but uh, it was coming out 5 volts, 4.97 I believe is exact, and that's typical, it's always going to be under, should be under. Now the one thing I haven't put on here yet is a heat sink. I have one and I have misplaced it. Um, so I need to get one or find that one. You should care, put a heat sink on this, which I used it just to test it with the multimeter. I haven't used it for the device yet. <clears throat> um, now, like I said, if you wanted to make a oh, let's say you wanted to, you had 24 volts and you wanted a, to run a 12 volt device, you would use the uh, 7812 that would bring it down to 12 volts and then just to go by the number last number then from now on 7809 is 9 volts 7806 will be 6 volt 05 would be 5 volts um, 03 would be the 3 volts and I'm sure I missed one or two in there <coughs> But I hope that uh, works for you, and I hope it made it an easy demonstration how to build one. Um, but there's a little ceramic one to just give you an idea what it looks like in case you're like me and didn't know for sure. It's a little round ones, and you, 
We got these barrel looking ones. Camera don't really pick up the greatest. So there we go. Maybe you can see that. Alright. Hope you enjoyed it.